What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be putting together a Donko Kids bunk bed, a full twin, or a twin over full, I should say. And uh, I apologize for my voice. It is early on a Saturday morning. This is all I was able to get done Friday night. Those boxes, <laughs> these boxes are like glued crazy. I couldn't flip them up. I had to actually cut it. Um, and there's three huge boxes. Uh, the, the wider box is actually out there. This one I didn't empty yet because it's just the slats. But inside, this thing is well protected. There's uh, a wood sheathing on the outside, styrofoam, and then cardboard sheathing on the inside. And I hate styrofoam. You guys should know I hate how much I hate styrofoam from previous videos. But yeah, so very well packed. It shipped to the house or apartment complex um, in three boxes by FedEx and uh, came directly from the manufacturer. There was no damage that I could see on the boxes um, to report about. And all of the pieces so far look like they're in decent cosmetic shape. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. I'm not gonna do a whole video on step by step because it is gonna take quite some time. Um, took me a while to find the instructions because they were rolled up into this little box. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have limited space in this little room here and I don't wanna take apart the fort or have to move out his furniture. But the full bed that he had previously went right, right in this little space here. So we're gonna see if we can go vertical with it so that the uh, other one has a place to sleep as well. And if not, then he'll just use all of this as his play, playground fort area. He'll love it. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are. We have uh, finished the installation of the bed. Um, we didn't really run into any problems. The instructions are kind of a pictogram. There's no actual written instructions. Um, so just kind of be mindful of that. When you get to the vertical support braces on the side of this bed, um, there's no pre-drilled holes or placement for them. So you just kind of guesstimate where you want it. Um, there's some on the back side as well. So I tried making them kind of uh, even in the back. Um, so also you want, want to make sure that you're making it level. Uh, what else was here? The stairs themselves are kind of wonky. There is just a dowel on one side and then one bolt. So a bolt and a dowel. That's all that supports this. And this bunk bed is rated for 100 and. 70 pounds I think I weigh 200 pounds and I was able to step on this bottom rung here but I <laughs> was not brave enough to actually climb up in it and uh, lay up here um, my son will be on the top luckily so he's only you know 50 pounds or whatever and then my daughter will be on the bottom bunk um, so we'd have no worries there uh, what else what else what else I like the fact that it is raised up off the ground so we can store his weapons under there um, keep in mind too if you're a heavier person like I am I weigh 200 pounds you won't be able to climb the ladder in order to get to the sheets of the mattress very easily so you may need to consider your placement if that's going to be an issue for you I've not tried the challenge of putting the sheets on here yet that's going to be uh, a project for tomorrow um, so yeah not bad my uh, my daughter likes to hang lights, so she has plenty of access points to hang lights under the bed. That's what it looks like from underneath. You can probably decorate that or 
whatever. Um, now, the description for this said it did not require a bunky board. However, the instructions say you do need a bunky board, or at least imply that you do. I do not have a bunky board on here, and it seems pretty sturdy, but I may uh, test that out and then kind of go from there. I think adding a bunky board, if it's a tight enough fit, will, will stabilize this a little bit more. Uh, oh, and the biggest issue I have with the bed, these connections right here on all of the posts are simply a, uh, I think it's a 7 8 dowel rod that basically goes from, drops down in here and sits on this. Um, to me, that's an issue because of the, the support here. If that was to flex too much and break that dowel rod, you'd come crashing down. So I am actually considering putting some uh, straight iron or something of that nature just on the sides or maybe even the back side here to uh, help prevent that flex from breaking that dowel rod if that becomes an issue. Because my son likes to jump around, uh, it may end up being a problem. Also, important to note, um, when you're building this, let me see if I can zoom out here. Stand by. My phone doesn't want to zoom out all the way. Sorry about that. When you're building this, they want you to build the bottom bunk first. Install the slat boards in here. Then they want you to separately build the top bunk here. All right. Then they want you to, with the slats, okay, with the slats, with the side rails, with the braces, then they want you to carry this top bunk and set it onto those little dowel pins on the back posts. This little section right here from the bottom bunk to that bottom leg of the top bunk is actually free floating. So you want, you have to line that up with the bottom of your hole before you screw it in to the bottom bunk. That was complicated. So I tried to not install the slats on the bottom bunk and install the top bunk in place. The problem with that was, <laughs> um, the top side rail on the back side actually came out because it's used using dowel rods and screws. It came out when I was trying to put the two other braces, uh, top rails in place. It came crashing down just enough to break the dowel inside both of the pieces, the side rail and the headboard. So I had to run to the hardware store and get some extra dowel rods, which of course were not the exact size for the bed frame. So I had to use some glue in there as well. Um, they did not give me a lot of spare parts. However, that being said, this is actually a pretty sturdy bed so far. Um, those little complaints, mm, they do not outweigh, I think, the quality of this bed for the price that I paid. Um, I ultimately did put the top, build the top bunk separately and put it on top. It wasn't that big of a deal, but it definitely took two people. And then I went and installed the slat boards because I needed to be able to access this in order to reach that corner uh, because of my walls. So something to consider. Don't put the slats in the bottom until you're completely done. That was the very last thing I did. Um, well, I take that back. That was almost the very last thing I did. The ladder was the last thing I actually installed. So overall, not bad. Pretty good bed. Um, looks nice. I like the gray color. Everything came in in decent shape. There was no damage to it. Um, pretty simple install. Took me a few hours once I got uh, everything figured out. I got it pre-sorted and, and put together no problem uh, with the exception of the breakage of the dowel, um, dowel pen and I did not have an extra. But yeah, great bed. Can't wait to give it a shot. Give it a try. Have the kiddos get up there and jump around and see if it breaks. And if it does, I will report back. All right, well, hope you enjoyed it. On to the next.